For problems 3, 4, and 5 in the review sheet, you're going to need one of these two formulas. The S equals R theta formula is for finding arc length. S is arc length, R is the radius. Theta is the angle. So in other words, if you're looking at a circle and you want to know a piece of it, for example, you want to know what's this length of this arc, you have to know the angle, you have to know the radius, and then multiplying those two together give you the, the arc length. The thing is though, the angle has to be in radian measurement. If it's in degrees, you need to convert it to radians, otherwise the formula does not work. And the same for the area of a sector. That's what this formula is. Area of a sector or a pie wedge, if you will. You're looking for this area now in here. And to find that, you take the radius squared times the angle. And again, that central angle has to be in radians before you can use it. If it's in degrees or revolutions, you have to convert it over and then divide it by two. The unit label that you'll be putting on area is gonna be in square feet or square meters or square whatevers. For the arc length, that's just a distance, a linear distance, so it's going to be either in feet or meters or inches for its length. So for question number three, um, you're just simply plugging into the arc length formula, the S and the R, and then finding theta, solve for theta. For question number four, you have to do a conversion first. You're given 120 degrees for the angle. And you're also given the radius um, is six centimeters. So, you know, to find the arc length, the R is six, but theta isn't 120 degrees. You need to do the conversion. So, in half of a circle, or pi radians around, that's 180 degrees. Go ahead then, multiply straight across, cancel if you will, you can cancel here, uh, three goes in there, actually six goes in there two times, six goes in there three times, so that's two pi over three. That's the angle in radians that you're gonna be using in these two formulas. For question number five, you have to figure out what the angle is first, and to do that, you have to look at how many minutes have passed between 8.08 and 8.20. And in this case, you've had 12 minutes pass. Well, all the way around a circle is 60 minutes. So you've gone 12 sixtieths of a revolution around the circle, or one-fifth of a revolution. I mean, think about it, if it were 30 minutes that had passed, then 30 over 60, you've gone a half of a revolution. Well, in this case, you've only gone a fifth of a revolution. But again, in order for you to find arc length, which is this formula, or the area of a sector, which is this formula, you have to convert revolutions to radians. So it's two pi radians is equal to one revolution. Revolutions cancel, and I have two pi's multiplied times one, divided by five, and that's two pi over five radians. Now that the angle is in the radian measurement, I can go ahead and plug in the information into both formulas and then solve for question number five.